Hey guys, I hope you're having a great Tuesday. Hey, I want to take just a few minutes and share a few thoughts with you from the one-year Bible reading this morning. Now, in the one-year Bible, we are in the book of Ezekiel, which Ezekiel is this amazing uh, prophetic book about mainly the end times, about a lot of the things that are going to happen, a lot of things that have happened in the last hundred years. And so we find ourselves in Ezekiel 36 today, and I just want to share a few things with you before we read it. Now, the world is in utter turmoil today, has been for years now, since, since about 1948. The world has been in turmoil because of the Middle East. I mean, it is the number one issue at the United Nations. Uh, not just the Middle East, but the land of Israel. So it's funny that this little bitty tiny country, you know, that's it's much smaller than our, than our, about the size of our smallest states in the United States. This real tiny country um, is is just the focus of the nations. And guys, this is a this is a spiritual phenomenon. It's not just a don't think it's just a physical one. And you want to be on the right side of this. In other words, you want to know what God's word says, and therefore um, that is what you say. That is what you believe. That is that is your heart. That's what you're praying into. And so we get a little glimpse into some things this morning in Ezekiel 36. And he speaks, and before we read it, I just want you to know, when he speaks of the mountains of Israel, if you were to look at a map today in 2020, the mountains of Israel is what is today called uh, by, the, by the United Nations, by many countries, it's what's called the um, West Bank, or it's what's called the um, Occupied Territory. So in other words, the nations say that Israel is illegally occupying this territory. Now, we would say God's word says something different. But not only that, by the, by, um, by the rules of war, even today, Israel rightfully uh, took this land from Jordan in the Six-Day War in 1967. But that's beside the point. When we're reading this prophecy, prophecy today, I want you to pay attention to when it says the mountains of Israel, because if you were to draw a map of the mountains of Israel, that's you know Judea, Samaria, which includes Jerusalem, Hebron, uh, these different major cities. If you were to make a map of 2,000 years ago or 3,000 years ago of the mountains of Israel, today that map would be the West Bank or the Occupied Territory. So keep that in mind as we're reading this. So I'm going to skip around and just read you a few verses in 36. So first of all, it says this. God speaks to Israel, I mean to Ezekiel, and he says, Son of man, prophesy to Israel's mountains or the mountains of Israel or the West Bank today. Give them this message. O mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Your enemies have taunted you, saying, Aha, now the ancient heights belong to us. Therefore, son of man, give the mountains of Israel this message from the sovereign Lord. Your enemies have attacked you from all directions, making you the property of many nations and the object of much mocking and slander. So this happened you know, a couple thousand years ago. The mountains of Israel were taken and they were... They were taken away from Israel. But then he goes on to say, like, I'm going to restore the mountains of Israel to, to the nation of Israel. I'm going to restore the West Bank to uh, the Jewish people. And so, guys, when, when you hear all this turmoil, know it, that it is God. It, why does Israel right now have the occupied territories or the West Bank or the mountains of Israel? It's because of the Lord. God has said he's going to do this. Now, let me read you a few more verses. Verse 6 says, Therefore prophesy to the hills and mountains, the ravines and the valleys, this is what the Lord, Sovereign Lord says. I am furious that you have suffered shame before the surrounding nations. So God had enough after a few thousand years. He was furious that these mountains had been taken from Israel. And he goes on to say, I'm going to give them back to you. And we go down to verse 8. But the mountains of Israel will produce heavy crops of fruit for my people, for they will be coming home again soon. Well, they're, they're home now. See, I care about you, and I will pay attention to you. Your ground will be plowed and your crops planted. I will greatly increase the population of Israel, and the ruined cities will be rebuilt and filled with people. And I will increase not only the people, but also your animals, O mountains of Israel. I will bring people to live on you once again. I will make you even more prosperous than you were before. And we know Israel is a prosperous nation today. Then you will know that I am the Lord. I will cause my people to walk on you once again, and you will be their territory. You will never again, you will never again rob them of their children. So he says here that he's speaking to the mountains of Israel. He's prophesying to them, saying, like, hey, there was a time when the enemies captured and occupied it, but no more. I am restoring it to my people, the Jewish people, to Israel. So, guys, when you hear all this chaos and all this stuff going on at the UN and and boycott Israel and all this kind of stuff. Guys, don't buy into it because ultimately you'd be fighting God because God is the one doing this. 
And so when you read anything about the mountains of Israel, know that's talking about what we call today the West Bank or what the UN calls the Occupied Territory. And when you read it, gain understanding of what the Lord is saying so that when we're dealing with issues today, you'll come down on the right side of it. Now, he was also saying, I'm going to cause the crops uh, to once again bear fruit. Well, guys, if you were to look at Israel 100 years ago, it was a barren wasteland. But in the last 100 years, the Jewish people have returned, and once again, the land is producing. And once again, it is, a, it is an oasis. It's producing fruit and vegetables and trees and all these things because this land would not produce for another people. Because God had covenanted with Abraham to give his children, his seed, this land, it has not produced fruit for any other person. This is a historical fact. Like this land has been, it was a barren land for 2,000 years, and now it is once again beautiful because God has brought the, is, the, is, the Jewish people back to the land of Israel, and this is his doing. So I hope when you read the scriptures, and I hope when you read these prophecies, it makes sense, you're blessed, and that you understand it. All right, guys, have a great day. Love you.